This is a 2003 LeMond Optoez uh, Greg LeMond Signature Edition. Greg LeMond Signature and the uh, World Championship colors. Uh, in case you can't see the color, it is uh, British Racing Green and I have green bar tape. Uh, it features a 3T stem. Uh, here we have uh, brand new Ultegra 6700 uh, gear shifters with integrated brakes. I had these installed last year, so these are brand new. In the brake department, what we have is Cane Creek SCR Series 5 brakes with all new uh, brake pads. I had these installed a month ago. We're also featuring new tires. These are uh, Continental Ultra Sport tires. They're brand new. Uh, this front rim here is a Mavic Open Pro rim and it features a Shimano Ultegra hub. Uh, moving back along the fuselage, what we have is we have uh, two uh, bottle holders uh, and I'm going to sell you the pump as well. Uh, as you can see, the bike was purchased at uh, Chain Reaction in Sunnyvale. As you move into the crank, uh, what you see here is a Shimano 105 uh, front derailleur. This is a Shimano 105 crank. It's 175 millimeters. Uh, this is a triple drivetrain. They actually don't make these anymore. And what you see here is brand new uh, chain rings. I had these installed about a year and a half ago. As you move to the rear of the drivetrain, what you're looking at here is a Shimano Ultegra rear derailleur. Again, this is a new cassette. This is a 9-speed cassette. Uh, total gives you 27 gears. Interesting rear wheel here. This is a Cane Creek Arrowhead rim. Uh, they don't make these anymore. And as you move to the back, you can see the uh, Arrowhead rim right there. Once again, brand new brakes in back. Uh, and you've got your brand new tires as well. Moving on to the saddle, this is the, not an original saddle, this is a Terry saddle, it's very comfortable. Um, I've ridden it for a lot of miles. Uh, once again, as we move up to the front, uh, you see here the green bar tape. Uh, let me give you some measurements here as we move back away. The top tube is 21.5 inches. The seat tube is 21 inches from the center of the crank all the way to the top, all the way to the uh, seat connector. Uh, your down tube measures 24 inches. Uh, the handlebars are 16 inches. Uh, the standover height is 30 and a half inches. And like I said before, the crank is 175 millimeters. This is a longer crank. Uh, I am five foot nine and a half, and I weigh 138 pounds. Uh, and this bike fits me like a glove. So if you're about 5'9", five, 5'10", five, almost down to 5'8", uh, and you're a medium-sized rider, then this bike will fit you pretty good. It's not much to look at. It's a little bit banged up. I've seen some action. But I have taken it absolutely to the edge. I have taken it at 50 miles an hour down Highway 9 from Saratoga. Uh, I've ridden it uh, up and over Mount Tam into, uh, into Stinson Beach off Highway 1. Uh, and I've done the Davis Double Century on it. So it's an excellent bike. Uh, like I said, it's a really, really fantastic starter bike. Uh, if you're just getting started in the sport, uh, this bike will take you places that uh, guys riding on uh, you know, five to six figure equipment uh, will be doing as well. So overall, it's a really good value. Uh, I'm offering the bike at $500. Uh, I personally have put over $1,000 in uh, upgrades onto it. Uh, it rides excellent for its age. Uh, I hope you buy it.